Hey everybody, it's RC Peck, the founder of Fearless Wealth and the creator of the Fearless Wealth portfolio. And this is my market situation report for Saturday, March 2nd. And I'm titling this report, Take on Debt and Do It Now. <laughs> ben Bernanke, the US government wants you to take on debt. They want you to borrow money. And I think you should. I think this is a once in a lifetime event. And though that phrase once in a lifetime maybe gets thrown around a lot and is a very hypey phrase in the uh, advisory world, I really do feel this is a once in a lifetime event and I think you should take on debt. I do not think you should pay off your house. If you owe less than 417 on your house, now here in Silicon Valley, an average house can go for a million dollars or $2 million. And if you drove by it, you wouldn't think much of it. Other parts of the country, maybe an average house is $200,000. But regardless of what the average price is, I do not think you should be paying off your house. I think you should be refinancing it and taking out up to 80% on it because debt is so cheap, money is so cheap. And let me show you why. So here you're looking at a price chart that is 100 years. This is 100 years of U.S. mortgage rates. And you can see in the lower right corner of this price chart that mortgage rates have never been as low as they are today in a hundred years. Now, this price chart does not, and this is mortgage rates, this price chart does not go back to the 1800s and the 1700s, but I'm willing to wager that they weren't, <laughs> that the mortgage rates weren't as low as they are today. Now, what I do have is interest rates going back to 1790. And as you can tell, interest rates were much higher back then in the 1800s and the late 1700s than they are today. So interest rates are so low, and this is why I do not want you paying off your house. And if your house is paid off, I do think you should refinance it, take that money out, and you can probably refinance it for 3.5% or lower. Now, before we get to interest rates, I want to take a quick divergence and just talk about anyone or show anyone or talk about investing in real estate, not your home, though I do think you should refinance and pull money out of your home. But if you do want to invest, what I want to show you are the five most undervalued metropolitan statistical areas or regions in the United States, the five best bargains in the U.S. And here they are. Vallejo, Fairfield, California, Yuba, S S Sutter, California, Detroit, Michigan, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Stockton, California. So if you're looking for a place that is still undervalued, you want to put your investment dollars to work in an investment property, these are the five most undervalued metropolitan um, areas in the United States. There are still undervalued areas. You have not missed the boat on this. So I thought those were very interesting, three of them being in California. Now, I want to turn back to interest rates. I just want to point something out that's absolutely remarkable. The median 30-year fixed conforming fully amortized. That means borrowing under $417,000. Okay. It's 42 year average median is 8.15%. That's going back to 1970. Go back to 1982. The 30 year average is 7.45%. Now 1982, that was not that long ago. Here you have the 20 year, the 20 year, that's 1993. The average for that 30 year fully amortized fixed Mortgage is 6.52%. And going back the last 10 years, that's 2002. The average is 5.72%. So the question is, where are we today? And the answer is, we're at 3.53% today. Now, I don't know where you live in this country. I know inflation in Silicon Valley is north of 5%. We cannot look to the CPI to see what inflation really is because the last place inflation is going to show up is in the CPI. The government wants real estate to go up. People feel richer if their house goes up. People who are underwater and their house goes up, they feel richer. They can get out of their house. They can move on. The government wants real estate to go up, and they're keeping interest rates at zero, the federal funds rate at zero. And I think, I think you should take advantage of this. Absolutely take on debt. If you have paid off your house, I think you should pull that money out. And I talk about in the Fearless Wealth um, Club where you can get 
out of the stock market, out of the bond market. So you can you can borrow at 3.5% and make it work for you at 10, 11% and take the difference and pay that mortgage. So there are places, I'm not talking about gold and silver. I'm not talking about virtual banks like Stansbury and Agora is always talking about. I'm not saying they're good or bad, but this is something completely different. And you don't even need to do that. But 3.5%, depending on where you live in the country, inflation is probably at 3%. Considering that the interest is written off on your mortgage, the real rate of that 3.5% is probably even 3%. And if you get a 15-year mortgage, it's probably like 2.5%. So this, this conversation with this you this week is all about being smart with what's happening today. The government wants you to take on debt. And if you can afford to, please do it. Now, anyone who is has debt already up to their neck and eyeballs, clearly um, this is not the time to take on more debt, be paying off that debt in that case. But for those who can, I do think this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I'm so glad, glad you guys were with me this week. I got my next monthly strategy meeting coming up on March 12th. Got so much to talk about with gold and just deep, 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 dark down correction. It's nearing the bottom any day now. We have lots to talk about with gold, bonds, commodities, currencies. The dollar is being strong right now. The Japanese yen fell very hard but has turned back. What does that mean? Where's the currency war right now being fought. Of course, we're going to talk about real estate. And obviously, we're going to talk about stocks. I hope you're there. So much is covered. I always answer your questions live. And you can personally ask questions. Thanks for being here. And you guys have a great rest of the weekend. All right, take care.